Sarah Jacobson, Marketing Artfully. So today what we're going to do is we're going to be talking about how to write product descriptions and what to put on your Pinterest pins after you've made them graphically. Because I think that this is a really big deal. And yesterday we did um, these pins already. I'm going to go back to one of these, but we're also going to make another pin real quick. But I wanted to show you how you can use Pinterest, because we're talking about Pinterest pins how you can use Pinterest to make your own pins with graphics that are going to be findable by SEO in Pinterest. So what we're going to start with are these lifting workout pants from Rebecca and Co's shop. So they're weightlifting. So what I did was I went to, and this will all make sense, I promise. I went to, and I said weightlifting. So now what I'll do is over here, I'll say weightlifting. Okay, that's one of my works. And then women. Women is definitely right on target for me, right? And the reason why women's coming up, let's call a spade a spade, is because this is Etsy, or excuse me, Pinterest, and of course there's women. So now we have before and after routine workout. Okay, so workout is a word that is important. Workout, fat loss, motivation, beginners, quotes, pictures, diet, inspiration, Funny transformation outfits, chaching. That's where our leggings are going to come in, right? So tank tops, Nike gym. So we need gym. Okay. Fitness workouts, weight training, shirt, shoes, products. Okay, products is always a big one. You're just going to have to go with me on this because I don't want this to be a four-hour video. Um, okay, so let's do, let's try first, what did I say? Let's try gym. All right. Okay, we see, we see, uh, totally see leggings, so that's good. Let's do this. And we were going to also look at products. Okay. So weightlifting women outfits products. Okay, so we have a wardrobe game changer. We've got a girl like this. And remember, our girl is here. So we got this girl. That girl, we could do something totally like that. Um, this girl's like this. But I want to be able to put a little bit of information on this pin because this is the secret. We're not just going to have it go to this pin this product, we're going to have it go to uh, leggings you'll love, right? Because if, if Rebecca has to find a new, sub, a new supplier, then she's going to want to have it come to this page, not to this specific set of leggings. Because Rebecca's doing drop shipping, we're going to do an Etsy girl here in a minute. So let's see if we could find out outfits, products, and let's see if we can find leggings. Maybe none of them have words on them, and we're just going to have to keep it. Oh, here we go. Your weekend sneakers. Yay. Okay. So, and that's a paid pin. Sorry, I clicked on it. But so, this is super plain. So, it's a top, a bar, and then the picture. And so, that's what, oh, and here's another one. Leggings, two for 24 value. Take the quiz. Okay, so this is a lot better. Here's some shoes. We're seeing a lot more words on here, which is what I really want to do. I want to get some of those words on there. Um, but I like this look. So we're going to real quick, and I'm not going to make you sit through this. I'm going to make the at least, well, I'll do it real quick. Okay, so this looks exactly the same as that pretty much, right? There's a picture, and then there's another picture. So let's see if we can find two pictures. Two pictures. All right, so that's a picture and a word. Oh, nope. What about this one? There's three pictures. Oh, I love this. Okay, so we found a bunch of pictures. So the very first thing, and I have a whole video about how to do this part of it. So I'm not going to be. I'm not going to be uh, doing doing this, I'm just doing this fast, and I've already uploaded all the pictures, so this hero shot, we're going to have this girl, we just plop this in, excellent, and then we have this girl, oops, just got to wiggle it to get her in, and then we got these guys, 
Okay. And so I don't know. I think I'm just going to get rid of these down here. I'm just going to put the words on top. It's always hard to delete the, the whole word block. All right, we can just delete what's in there. And nobody will know the difference. Okay, good. All right, that's that, that's that. Okay, so now we need to know what to put in here. So they just have kind of a, you know, a, a little thing up there. So we'll have weightlifting women gym outfits products. So we're going to say, ooh, gym outfits here. Right? And we just got to make this a tiny bit smaller. Gym outfits. Uh, and so this is a longer word. So we're going to say weight lifting all and we're going to make this smaller and we're going to say products and we're going to make this smaller holy snake that was huge um so 125 will that get us there okay all right so now we have i think i want to move this up here right and then I got to move this, these words. And you may be thinking to yourself, this doesn't really make sense, right? Like gym outfits, products, weightlifting, like that doesn't, that doesn't, like, doesn't make sense. But I'm not trying to make sense. I might have to put weightlifting up here. Yep, because everything else is too small. So we're going to say this, we're going to say this, we just got to get our words down here. And then this green isn't good for us, right? Because we're kind of, I guess it could go with this green, but for this one, I'm going to go real stark, real, um, and then I'm going to center that more. And then this, we could see what it looks like in pink. Ooh, that looks great. And then we'll do this in pink. And that matches the pink in her shoes. So we're saying weightlifting. We could even do this. So oh. gym outfits, products, workout products. Okay, so let's undo this. And we're gonna move workout up here so we can see it gym outfits products that's very cool let's move this guy over here let's move this guy well we gotta see where our box is gonna go there we go looking good looking good okay so this is gonna be our pin you see the whole thing very good download download Okay, so that took us eight minutes. If I wasn't talking to you, I would do it a lot faster. But now we're going to go upload it to Pinterest, right? So we're going to say create pin. We're going to grab our picture. Now we're in. We're going to put Rebecca's category page in here. And we're going to stare at this little blank screen thinking, what the heck am I going to put in there? And never fear, we got all these keywords that we got over here from Pinterest. So we know exactly what's going to happen because if we did a search for this in Pinterest, oops, I want to mess this up for our second one, okay. If we did a search for those keywords in Pinterest, we would find out that we would get things just exactly like what we're selling. Oh, there it is again, right? Um, so we know that if we put all those keywords into this pin description, that her pin will show up exactly in the place that we want it to show up. So we're going to say weightlifting workout 
outfits for your next gym trip. These leggings, because that's what they are, right? These leggings, these leggings for women, eh, at least it's gra grammatically correct. These leggings for women are the perfect product to help you look cute while lifting heavy, right? Because these are for real bodybuilder women. Rebecca's a real bodybuilder. So I have women, workouts, outfits, gym, products. That's it. All of them are there. Now, you could take a little bit of this, right? You could take this, and then you could come over here, and you could say that right or you could come and do this do 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 like that you could do whatever you want i don't care i just need this pin to show up in this search for the people who are looking for exactly the product she's selling okay now let's go ahead and this isn't I, this isn't on my account i don't have a board now this is another super good tip for you if you have a leggings board, pin this to your leggings board before you pin it to every other board. So I'll explain what I mean. I have a marketing artfully board that's a mishmash of all my realtor, my Etsy, my author, my things. And I used to pin everything there first, but at, or Pinterest has said that they would rather you pin it to your author marketing board first and then schedule it to share to your main board, whatever, last or second, whatever. Um, so you want to make sure that if you have a leggings board or if you have a ring board or if you have a uh, workout products board, you're going to put that there first. And what happens is the description and the title from that board kind of get appended to this pin and follow that around too. So that's what they're saying. If I went with the Marketing Artfully board, it would have all those different gobbledygook things and the pin description. But if I put it on the author marketing board with that really heavy author marketing information on the board itself and you append that to the pin, then all of a sudden it's going around with all kinds of other great keywords. So there you go. You would want to do it that way. Let's do one more real quick. I'm not trying to take up all your time here. This time we're going to do, this is um, Viva Terra Boutique. This is my friend Tracy. And this is her vintage men's jewelry category. That is the pin, that is the URL we're going to use in when we post the pin because we want to make sure that if she um, sells out of this pin, she that, that Pinterest pin doesn't go bad, right? I think it was in vintage men's jewelry. Oh, tell me she sold it. Oh, there it is. Whoo! It was like, oh my gosh, I don't hope she didn't sell. Okay, so what I'm going to do with this one is we're going to do, um, I'm going to cheat a little bit. So we're going to say uh, men's ring, right? Like, so this is functionally what it is. Men's ring. Okay, so now we have wedding promise fashion art deco unique. It is unique because it's vintage, one of a kind. Um, let's see if we can find out anything about it. So it is a, can you click on it? Yeah. So it is a men's sterling silver amethyst ring, February birthstone. Okay, cool. So, silver, now we got silver, and we know it's sterling silver, so that's good, but we'll be in the silver category. Simple, style, stainless steel, men's, do we have men's? We have men's already. Unique, cool, I think it's cool, cool, all right, we got cool. Close this so we don't keep going back there. Okay, cool. 
ideas awesome etsy Ooh, this is fun so on here you want to make sure on pinterest you want to say etsy and you want to say products you would never do that in your etsy product right because they're already on etsy they're already looking at products but when you post something on pinterest you want to make sure that you put those in there all right awesome etsy products <laughs> there it is products etsy products together uh jewelry oh we don't have jewelry okay jewelry um beautiful i think that's great we got plenty of words here and now this is the fun thing because i've done this a long time uh this is a very normal uh jewelry look so this is just a few words right here and the jewelry on a white background um this is jewelry on a white background love always that's good mindful breathing necklace so we know that kind of look right there's ebay you may want to do just pin just that um item with the picture but we're going to make a pin and this is the cool thing about um canva which i'll put a link to the um the way we did this before is that once you do a once you do a um design like this watch we'll just take that out and now I'm going to see which one I like better. Ooh. Ooh, I don't like how that comes in at all. So we're going to do this. Oh, we just have to wiggle it. Oh, that looks nice. Okay, so now we're going to say Etsy shop, and we're going to put in Viva Terra Boutique. Now, if this was your own Pinterest, you wouldn't have to make another one, right? But we got the Viva Terra Boutique. We just got to make this a tiny bit smaller. Excellent. Um, can we move this up? Is there a way? Oh, good. We moved it up. I didn't like how much it was crowding that bottom. So this is beautiful. Okay, so now we go back to our words. Me unique men's sterling silver ring. Unique men's sterling silver ring, right? So the cool thing also about Canva is if we could get the little dealies to come up. Hang on, we gotta get out of here. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we get this done. And then we should be able to come over here to the corner. Well, I guess we could just make it smaller. So let's say 65, there we go. Okay, now we wanna move this over to the, to the middle um what else, what other words do we have jewelry Vin so we can say vintage jewelry unique men's sterling silver ring and then we could say cool gifts for men we could do whatever so this is a really nice pin that we would be um Cool gifts for men. Yeah, let's keep it open. All right, so this is a really nice pin. Uh, let me move this up so you get to see the bottom of it. Here you go. So that's the entire pin. Now, this is based on a pin I made yesterday for the uh, aviation earrings. Um, the nice thing is once you have a template like this, you can just pull your pictures in. So we're going to say download. And if we were going to upload to Pinterest, this is what we would do. We would say, upload a pin, create a pin. We're going to bring our pin in, which is super pretty. Vintage jewelry, unique men's sterling silver ring, cool gifts for men. Eh, maybe a lot of men, but that's okay. And then uh, Tracy shop. So what are we going to say? We have our keywords already. We know those are keywords. Let's go. Let's do it, people. I get so excited about this, I'm sorry. Okay, so if we did this and we did a search, we wanna see if we're gonna get the same kind of products we have. That's a cool men's ring, sterling silver, we fit right in. That's exactly the search that we wanna get found for. So this is perfect. So now we need to say these things in the description, right? So we're gonna say unique men's sterling silver ring. Okay, 
this is where you can go get the details, right? Everybody wants to do all the details up front. Um, actually, if I was Tracy, I would also do the same thing for February birthstone. I would um, swing back around and do a whole nother one for that. But we're going to say this. We're going to come down here. We're going to include we're going to include that underneath, right? So they'll get the details, but now we have cool, unique men's sterling silver ring. Period. One of my amazing Etsy products in my vintage men's jewelry sec category category come and check out all the cool products uh we could do move it down there etsy products uh one of the amazing finds we're going to say finds in my Vintage Men Jewelry Catalog. Come and check out all the cool Etsy products. I got everything. Jewelry. I got everything. Uh, featured for sale at Viva Terra Boutique! Exclamation point. Right? And then we would do the URL for the category, section ID, section, right? We would do it for the, for the category because if she sold this pin, and I just did this search yesterday with a friend of mine, if you have a product from Etsy that you've uploaded directly and it's not for sale anymore, they no longer go to your shop and try to pull different items from your shop that are similar they pull the same item from all the different shops on Etsy to do it. So you want everybody to come back to this, um, to your shop. And it's so easy. So if you got to the, if you clicked through to this and this was still available, we are not even 10 products in. They could totally find them. Now that does mean that you need to have a little bit smaller categories so that they find them easily. Um, like with Rebecca, who some of her categories, she I think they're called collections. Some of her collections are huge. She would want to have more collections rather than less collections. But that's fine. That makes it really easy. But uh, there you go. So that's how you would write your product description. First off, it's how you come up with the content for those um, pins. But then how you write the pin description on Pinterest so that you get found in Pinterest search. Tara Jacobson. Oh, don't forget to subscribe if you like videos like this and like if you're on YouTube. I'm Tara Jacobson, Marketing Artfully.